good morning. I'm Pete Nigeri, and this is The Take for Market Rebellion. And another really interesting day yesterday. We had that strong start to the day. Everybody's talking about the S&P and are we going to hit all-time highs? And the next thing you know, the S&P moves into the red. And the Dow, which started off up 300 points, before you could blink, it was up about 100 points. And then as the day pressed on, it just sort of flutter, fluttered around a little bit with some pressure on it. It did close up. It closed higher. It was up 45 points, but a long stretch from that 300-point start at the beginning of the day. There's no doubt about that. NASDAQ, on the other hand, started off at about 100 points to the upside, a nice, strong move. That they gave up almost immediately. The next thing you know, we're sort of floating around somewhere in the red. We actually finished down about 12 points, but just a really interesting start to the week as we as every, all the excitement, the reopen and all of that and everything started with such strength. And then all of a sudden it seemed like the, the, the rug had been pulled out, but where it didn't get pulled out was in crude oil and crude, certainly one of those focus areas. And we've been talking about this for a long time. And suddenly it looks like there's a lot of people on the coattails of this one. They waited till uh, oil was somewhere in the $60 plus range, but it's good to have them aboard because that's why we like to see what's going on. We get in early and we start to see this big push to the upside. Well, we hit 69 yesterday and we did pull back underneath 68 for the close, but still up a couple of percent yesterday. A really nice, strong move to the upside. Bitcoin's been very, very tight. We've been talking about this for a while now where that volatility was something that looked like that volatility was part of the influence of the volatility in the markets. Well, that volatility is certainly constricted as we've watched Bitcoin basically trading somewhere between 36,000 and 37,000 with a few blips here and there. It did have that over the weekend push down to like 33,000, but bounced right back. And it seems like that's where it's been kind of holding with very, very little volatility, especially on a comparative basis. Energy, definitely the standout yesterday. We watched the price of energy move into the upside for the most part. You look at the energy space, that was up about 4% yesterday. We had materials that were moving a little bit higher. What was getting hit a little bit yesterday was healthcare. That was down about 1.5%. But sticking with energy for a second, just take a look at what was going on with what we talk about all the time, the beta names. Now, First off, let's start with the, the broader look with the XOP. A lot of those names that I'm talking about all the time when I reference beta names, that's what you get out of the XOP. Had a really, really stellar day yesterday, up about 6%. But Devon was unreal. Marathon, unbelievable. Apache, Oxy, Diamondback, all of them up between 8% and 13% yesterday. Just an unbelievably strong, powerful move to the upside. Now, folks, Understand when you're a beta, that doesn't always mean to the upside. It also means that you can have those strong, powerful moves to the downside. But as we've all been talking about, the moves to the upside, you know, two steps forward, one step back, that has certainly been the case for energy for a while now. But boy, they were absolutely rocking. You know what else has been rocking very nicely? Boeing, kind of quietly leading, it seems like yesterday had a pretty nice day once again as the markets even pulled back significantly, but Boeing up about 3%. Bell to Bell, just a strong participant. And we've been seeing more and more unusual option activity. We talked about some of that last week. We're seeing even a little bit more today, but we've been watching as we've seen a, a, you know, countless days in a row where we've seen this Boeing activity looking for more upside. A lot of that very, very short term, just so you're fully aware. As a matter of fact, the two unusuals we had yesterday really did have a pretty nice performance, especially when you look at the backdrop of what I was defining of the, the Dow itself, the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the pullback. But NEO and Adiant really had a pretty extraordinary day, both of them trading. And so we'll be keeping a close eye on that. But those were the unusuals we had yesterday. Adiant was all, all the way out to October. NEO, that was short term, and it's already made a pretty decent move, at least yesterday. So Volatility, somewhere call it 17 to 18. We had a nice volume day once again, about 36 million. One thing that did stand out, and we'll be talking about this again, again and again and again today, but AMC, because AMC rarely has led with the volume in the entire market of, of the derivatives world. Well, AMC was leading yesterday, nearly 2 million contracts. By the way, BlackBerry, which is another one of those names that kind of gets caught up in this whole storyline of the memes and GameStop and everything else. BlackBerry, it wasn't up there in the, in the top three or anything, but 460,000 contracts, just give you a little reference, that's about four times 
the daily volume that we normally would see out of Blackberry. So we are seeing that acceleration. We've been seeing some of that acceleration. We had unusual last week, a couple of different days. One of the days actually was very short term, just playing for the week. And the next one was coming for this week as well, the June 4 expiring. And those have absolutely exploded to the upside. So crude did pull back, as I mentioned. Well, today, nice little lift to the upside out of crude and still holding somewhere, recapturing that $68 range. But it's trading somewhere, call it between 67 and a half and pushing towards that 69 level. So a really, really powerful move. And we talked about that. I'll tell you what, AMC, I talked about the volumes, but the movement yesterday from AMC, and I, and I know that uh, we're doing a great job with our guys are putting up charts and this, that, and the other, but I'll tell you, you can hardly chart this thing the way it's been moving. The absolute explosive moves to the upside that we've seen over the last three, four, five, six trading sessions. We traded over 3 million contracts last week, and we talked about that and all of the volume that we've been seeing. And I talked about it on Fast Money last Thursday, that the AMC volumes have been there and they're buying the upside. And by the way, they really, for the most part, very short term. So again, feels a little bit like that GameStop going after these stocks with that high short interest, even though that short interest has come in a little bit, it's come down a little bit. It's still fairly extraordinary to the upside, call it about 20% short interest. So that is something that I think is certainly in play along with BlackBerry. Now, BlackBerry doesn't have nearly as much short interest but we are seeing paper and we're seeing a lot of conversations. We hear Reddit talking about all of that type of thing. And BlackBerry having another nice day as well, up about 11%. It's had a really, really impressive run just over the last two or three or four trading sessions. So we started off today really flat. We started to get a little bit of a move to the upside, not much early on, up about 20 points on the Dow, maybe 30 points on the NASDAQ. And then we started to see the Dow really start to accelerate to the upside. The last I looked, we were up about 100 points on the Dow. I'm doing a quick cheat. I'm going to take a quick look right now just because it was moving so fast. I want to see, okay, it's not, not quite as much. It's up about 85 points. But we're looking at the NASDAQ still up about 20 points. It's been up anywhere between 10 and about 30 points with the NASDAQ. And certainly technology is definitely one of those that's powering that right now so far. So really interesting in terms of volatility. We talked about that somewhere, call it the range has been very tight because we've seen a little bit of a constriction of the range of what we are seeing in the broader markets. So early on, almost nothing moving more than about three quarters of a percent up or down. So we talked about it being a very flat start. It's exactly what it was. Technology was up about three quarters of a percent, but materials was down close to about six tenths, maybe a little bit more than that to the downside in terms of that percentage. But Energy started to power forward once again. And you look over at energy and the last I looked, it was up nearly 1%. So we got two unusuals for you and then we're gonna get out of here and let you get into, the, into your trading day. The first one, pretty exciting, NVIDIA. Now we talk about this name fairly frequently. We get unusual in it. We do have those, because of the fact that the stock trades at a dollar price of $662 is where it was trading today. That higher price means that you're gonna obviously have some of those uh, options are a much higher price as well. So we had about 13,000 of the June 4th expiring. Obviously that's Friday. These are just at the money. They're in the money by about $2, but the 660 calls going from $5 and they paid all the way up to $9 to get filled on 13,000. It's a pretty large trade. 13,000 do an average price, call it seven, seven and a half. That's a big dollar amount trade. Somebody committing that they feel like Nvidia's got more upside uh, certainly before the end of the week. Here we are at Wednesday. Moderna is the next one. That one's pretty interesting as well because we actually are looking again at really short. And I've been ex, you know, trying to uh, ex, let everybody understand we are seeing this again where the theme is extremely short. So while yesterday when we had some options going out to October, that was even more unusual. But today, both of these expire Friday, June 4th. Moderna, about 4,500 of the 200 strike calls in Moderna. Those are going for 70 cents all the way up to about $1.50. And that was with the stock trading about 190. I did take a peek before we came on here, not sure where it is right this second, but it had been trading about 192. So stock was starting to move a little bit to the upside. So keep an eye on some of these names. We always like to give you some of the unusual here on this quick uh, market uh, for market rebellion on the take. And speaking of market rebellion, today, four o'clock Eastern time, you don't wanna miss this one, 30 stocks, 60 minutes, my brother John and AJ, those two guys, those characters get together 
you're in for some great entertainment and some great information. So I look forward and hopefully you're looking forward to four o'clock today to check that out. It's going to be great. They do a great job and they power through it, man. They hit stock, 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 stock. They really do ramrod. They go through these things really fast, but they're giving you great explanations of what they think and why they think that. And certainly AJ, one of the best chart guys you'll ever come across. He really does know this stuff well. And he and John are going to be probably debating a little bit on all of this. It'll be pretty, pretty interesting. And you probably can throw in a couple names yourself. Maybe they're going to check those out and put those up and see what the two of these guys think as they're doing this live today. Folks, have a great day of trading. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I may be sneaking onto the halftime report today just for a small little segment. We'll see. Check it out. 1230. Maybe you'll see me.